Now I want to show you just uh, how close we are now to the center. Well, this center uh, drill marks the center of the eccentric and as you can see now I have this mounted in the four jaw chuck and it has been adjusted and uh, if I start the motion you'll see how close so I think we're pretty much closely adjusted for the center of the eccentrics this is the setup now after I've uh, aligned and checked the billet in the four jaw chuck and standard tool post because <laughs> the other one won't fit and uh, working very tight and uh, I've put a stop on the carriage so that the width of eccentric uh, is, is set I just have to turn into the stop and it's, and it's done I'll come in a little closer ok that's a better focus I'll set it up to show you it in motion I will of course be using a faster speed but at first I've I have to start that cut very carefully. You can see a indexable carbide tipped tool in the tool post. Nothing is happening at the moment, it's just rotating. Here's the setup ready to turn the uh, eccentrics. Now I'm going to start rotation and uh, then I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see what's actually happening I'm increasing the speed and I'm putting a little cutting fluid and I'm uh, starting to cut and I'm going to take it out slowly advance the tool slightly and as, as I said it has a stop on the carriage so it can't go any deeper well, you can see I've got to take very light cuts I don't want the the sort of shock of the thump 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 to knock it off centre in any way so I've just got to be very very you see I'm not taking an awful lot off stop it so you can see what's happened so far hey not much but you can see that that depth is controlled exactly by the carriage stop ok let's increase it again Put a bit more cutting fluid and well that's enough for the moment uh, and you can see I've taken off a bit more but uh, by golly there's a lot more to come so I won't bore you with that and uh, you'll see it at a much later stage as you can see it's quite possible it takes a bit of time a lot of patience and uh, but I'll leave it set up like this because now I have to cut the eccentric in the other end but just to show you I'm going to set it in motion if I leave it like this the opposite end will have the same eccentricity uh, and therefore it will match perfectly holes and everything uh, when that's done of course then I set it up back in the three jaw vise make sure it's centered and then we can start parting off the separate discs so the only uh, risky thing I have left to do on, at this stage is to cut the uh, eccentric on the other end which is a very tight 
anyway, leave it like that for the moment and uh, I'll slow it down. There it is. You can see the crankshaft hole, the eccentric, the little hole for the crank pin and uh, that's it. Well I got both eccentrics turned in the end. Uh, I tried several different things. Uh, I first tried this up in the four-way tool post which worked up to a point. Then I couldn't get any further and I scratched my head and finally finally came up with this. As you can see I used a uh, 1 16th parting blade and uh, this was able to cut right in to the distance I needed uh, but I also had to use it to face the uh, eccentric which uh, I think is probably okay I'll probably have to polish it up with a little bit of uh, uh, 600 and then perhaps some uh, crocus cloth and uh, but I think it will work now to prepare for parting off the separate discs the end one the first one which is the first eccentric that we turned will be parted off it's set off and a small cut has been made to show you where and I'll show you now as I turn it that now it's in the three jaw chuck little cutting fluid and uh, we'll keep a slow speed for parting off I'm using a P1N narrow parting blade. I used a, a standard one, the 16th inch wide, to cut this inner eccentric because that's the only tool I've found. Me. I didn't. I could have pulled it out a little bit from, but I'd had it set up. Well, as you can see, I had to take away the centre. And uh, this was because it, as I was <coughs> advancing inwards, it was uh, interfering with the tailstock. So, uh, but with very light cuts. There it is, the first disc with the eccentric on it. That's just the centre pop for when I was cutting the eccentric and the two holes now, crank pin and crankshaft. And I'll finish it up to the final thickness but now I just need to part off the two middle ones and part off the end one and take that little stub off so we're getting there